Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Scott Ranth, and I'm here to tell you about everything that's happening here in and around Missoula in terms of events, news, and all sorts of things happening, including uh, your smoke report, you got some news fire, and also I got a new episode of Dubbin' Stuff um, from the movie, 1920s movie, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, so that's going to be an interesting experience. So let's get into it. Uh, the weather is looking, uh, eh. Pretty much, that's the best way to describe it. Eh. So uh, it's going to be smoky, if you haven't already noticed. Uh, the sun, uh, when I saw it raise, uh, rising over Mount Jumbo, it was red. So your high is expected to be 84 degrees today. Uh, currently, it is 48 degrees. Uh, the average low is going to be 51. Uh, Thursday, your high is going to be fi uh, 85. Your low is going to be 46. Um, Friday, they hope to have uh, some showers, but of course, along with some thunderstorms. But... If you looked at the map, uh, which I'll be showing you in a minute, most things are already on fire. Um, <laughs> and then, oh, sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. This is terrible. Um, it is, uh, there's a 30% chance of rain happening Friday night um, with highs into the 80s and lows into the 50s. So there's, uh, the gap is a little bit uh, smaller since it has been in this last month because uh, from what I've noticed, it's been 90 to 50 to even 40 degrees in the morning. So we've been getting fairly cold weather in the morning, which has... Uh, really helped a lot of the uh, efforts to fight the fires. But let's talk about some of the air quality that's in the air currently. So if we take a look at the map, you can see a lot of the areas such as uh, Thompson Falls, uh, Rainy Lake, and Clearwater all are in the very unhealthy range with uh, Seal Lake being the most hazardous. But of course, if you haven't already noticed or heard in the news and other news stations, um, Sealy Lake as fire, Rice Ridge fire, has expanded, basically doubled in size just over the weekend, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, but here is the current air uh, quality in Missoula. It is unhealthy. Um, if you look down below at the svc.mt.gov website, um, from 7 to 8 a.m. this morning, it uh, is 100 in 10.6 particulate matter that's in the air. And for those of you who don't know what particulate matter is, it's 0.0. 3% the size of a single hand, a, a strand of human hair, and it when it accumulates, it kind of stays with you for quite some time. Um, so let's talk about some of the news things. I want to sh shift gears from the fire just for a little bit and talk about what's happening at the University of Montana. The new Bacchus Institute in the University of Montana uh, Balut School of Law aims to help college students learn about Washington, D.C. and international issues while bringing scholars here to share their experiences. In the Missoulian I read, um, the Institute expects to start offering internships to several UM students next summer for work with Montana's congressional delegation or the non-government to organizations in Washington, D.C., and the program will start spring 2018. But now let's talk about the fire. The Rice Ridge fire is con pretty much considered out of control with a 2% containment. It went from 40,000 um, to uh, more than 100,000 acres over the weekend, moving east away from Sea Lake. It is expected to get worse as well with dry, humid conditions, um, not much humidity. Uh, mandatory evacuation order was placed for Sunday in all of the Cooper's Lake area to north northeast of Ovando at the head of uh, Clyde Schmidt Flat. The fire was still in the mountain several miles to the north, but spreading unpredictably. Evacuation warnings e uh, ever... Everything north of Highway 200 for 30 miles from the Missoula County line to Green Greeno to Lewis and Clark County, this uh, line several miles west of Lincoln. The Rice Ridge Fire uh, spent a fleeting day on Sunday at top of the national priority list, the Caribou Fire and uh, Gibr Br Gibraltar Ridge um, um, fires in Kootenai National Forest in northwestern Montana supplemented it after an unknown number of structures were lost. Um, but of course, uh, the Caribou Fire, uh, which is uh, basically the Montana Canadian border, overran some 40 buildings in northwest Montana over the week, including at least 10 homes in an Amish community. Uh, the 17,000 acre fire is burning the land west of Lake Cook. Uh, Kukanausa in Lincoln County. Sorry if I'm butchering that name. I'm totally am. Um, right on the uh, U.S. Canadian border, the Rice Ridge Fire, uh, of course, back to the Rice Ridge Fire, that continued sharing resources with the Low Peak Fire Tuesday, taking on um, um, the Northern Rockies Type 1 team um, after the National Guard moved up to Cedar Lake to help with the evacuations last week. 
the 118,550 acre fire, which ballooned to more than uh, more than 50,000 acres over the hot, wide, dry, dry, windy Labor Day weekend, slowed some Monday night, um, though it did gain some steam in the north, overtaking the reef in the Bob Marshall Wilderness, according to daily updates. Research fire stands at 119,857 acres and is at 2% containment, and I checked just this morning, which means it's up by more than 10,000 since yesterday. Uh, the Caribou Fire is at 17,089 acres and is at 10% contained. Lower Peak Fire stands at 48,337 acres, and it has increased over 3,000 more acres than yesterday, but it is 31% contained, so Lobo Fire, a lot of times, if they're working on containing and making lines so the fire doesn't spread even more um, and basically what they're going to do is they're going to wait for a lot, a lot of the fires so here is something I got from the website if you look at IncentiWeb which is a website where you guys can go to to see uh, maps like this and it kind of shows you the areas in which are on fire in the state of Montana So here is, uh, as of Tuesday morning, September 5th, there are 1,165 structures under an evacuation warning. There are no evacuation orders at this time. Unified command remains in place between uh, Thurman Type 1 in, um, Incident Management Team, Missoula Rural Fire District, and Ravalli County Fire Warden. Reported containment reflects portions of the perimeter where the fire has been engaged at a control lines and has been contained. A large portion of the fire along the southwest, south, the southeast perimeter has not reached containment lines at this time um, well of course while Montana is in fire Texas still has those cra has the crazy hurricane Harvey aftermath uh, having just returned from a month-long recess the house um, uh, is racing to vote Wednesday on a nearly 7.9 billion dollar disaster aid package to help Texas and Louisiana rebuild the devastating aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. The Senate is expected to follow suit, possible later this week, with a vote on relief package. But Majority Leader Mitch McConnell signaled Tuesday that the measure could be tied to efforts by Republican leaders and President Trump to also raise the national debt limit. Many resources are being prepped for Hurricane Irma, which is expected to hit Florida once new information becomes available. As the hurricane itself comes close to the Caribbean's, Irma was churning west Tuesday evening in the Atlantic uh, with maximum um, sustained winds of 185 miles per hour miles per hour, well above the 157 mile, power, uh, mi mile per hour threshold for Category 5. So Category 5 is like the worst hurricane. There's no Category 6. That doesn't exist. And there's about 130 miles east of Argent uh, Antigua, sorry, uh, 130 miles east of Antigua and Barbuda, the hurricane center said, it, it is now basically a waiting game um, of a hurricane which is getting, wor which is actually categorized worse than Harvey, um, but it, but a lot of resources are actually being taken to Florida in, in preparations for the hurricane that may come, but they're constantly checking on it, and it, it's, yeah, there's just a lot going on here. There's a lot of disasters, and um, basically, uh, Montana is in that state of emergency uh, from the fires and whatnot, so that's a lot of interesting things that are happening in around uh, in in around Missoula, Montana and the United States as well as uh, basically most of the fires um, uh, won't be basically put out until about a month or more depending upon how the weather looks um, we're just looking for that morning frost to help uh, snuff out a lot of the fires so we'll see how that works out but in the meantime um, here's a nice little interlude before I talk about um, MCAT announcements that are happening. So uh, without further ado, here is some of the new programs that are going to be on MCAT. And when I come back, we'll talk about MCAT. Hi, boys and girls. Here's your teacher's going today. I'm Mr. Wood Devil. <laughs> this just wouldn't work. The kids are going to be so cruel. <laughs> he was the second most popular writer of waltzes after the famous Austrian Johann Strauss Jr. This is his España waltz which translate as Spain Waltz, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Bring your kids. This is an educational program. <laughs> <laughs> España.
Hey, welcome back. Um, as the President Lecture Series comes into fruition for the new uh, UM school year 2017-2018, MCAD um, will provide uh, video um, services for um, university programs and many other programs here in town as well. Um, if you are a uh, a community-driven organization that's to benefit the community via through nonprofit or civic action work party that kind of thing you can go to our website MCAT.org and you go to how do I and you can request an event recording request event recording brings you to this nice little website where you um, fill out a media assistant grant that tells you everything that you need to know and whether or not you are qualified um, for a media assistant grant it's where MCAT comes down to uh, your event and films it basically for free and we get to air it on our channel for anyone to see and also it is on our website mcat.org so it's not just a television driven thing but it's also a media um, thing that gets on our uh, website so you can watch it anytime on our website at mcat.org unless otherwise specified because there's a lot of like different things that you guys can do but you can watch mcat online streaming on MCAT.org pretty much any time by clicking on any of these links between 189 and 190. But also I want to give a nice little shout out to our um, um, Saturday drop-ins. Our Saturday, oh God, I'm so terrible, but uh, <sighs> okay. So um, our Saturday drop-ins are starting up in October. So the first Saturday in October, um, kids nine, Kids, kids aged 9 to 13 um, are welcome to come down to MCAT every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for only $10. They get to experience some stop animation, create some movies, and just have a good old time um, being creative in terms of this, in terms of media, in terms of everything that's MCAT. So MCAT is a great resource for a lot of uh, young kids, and we've uh, helped facilitate over 140 kids over the summer um, to make basically short movies and teach kids how to make short movies short films or stop animations which include like Lego movies or uh, Play-Doh movies claymation that kind of thing so we help with that as well and I made a kind of a mixed media PSA that is going to be airing on MCAT so here is a PSA from this and when we come back um, I'm going to talk about what am I going to talk about mm. oh, man I totally forgot what I'm going to talk about but I should remember by the time we get back after this PSA do do. Hey, how, how, hey, how's it going over? Uh, uh, oh, have a good day. <laughs> oh, huh, I didn't see you over there. What a nice day to be out and about today. But I want to tell you something about what's going on here. Hold on a second. Let me just adjust this. Okay, there you go. Let me talk about MCAT. MCAT is doing Saturday drop-ins starting every Saturday this fall, winter, and spring season from 1 to 5 p.m. Let's go check it out, come on. MCAT is a great way to create. All you gotta do is come on down to our location at 500 North Higgins. It's as easy as that. See you there. Boom. There you go. But I didn't remember what I was going to do. But oh yeah, big announcement. MCAT is doing orientations every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. So we're just going to be starting that here at MCAT. I'll be hosting orientation. So anybody who wants to come down and learn about MCAT, learn if they are interested in being a part of the MCAT family, it's as easy as going down, coming down to MCAT and basically learning about uh, our checkout systems. We check out DSLR, D DSLR cameras. Um, we check out uh, camcorders. We check out projectors. And we've been known to check out computers depending upon uh, how much time a lot of producers have put into the program. Um, so a lot of times there's uh, systems where if we have a producer that's been here long enough, we trust them enough to take our their, our, our computers home with them so they can edit at home and make their own videos. Uh, the only uh, stipulation is that they have to provide MCAT with a program just by basically um, being able to rent and take out our equipment from here from MCAT for free. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a fair compromise where you just ask for programs. So if you want to get involved, you can contact us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. MCAT is a resource for anybody who wants to make a movie, make a film, or basically check out a camera and learn how to make a video. So it's a great, wonderful thing. And uh, speaking of a video that you can make, I made a brand new dubbing stuff for you guys today. So I'm going to show you guys dubbing stuff, and when I return, I'm going to show you 
I'm, I'm not going to show you. I'm going to talk about events that are happening here and around Missoula, which include the President Lecture Series. I say, yeah. I say. Oh, you don't say. Oh, yeah, me say too. Me say too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You say, say you. You don't say. Uh, would you look at that vision of beauty over there? I would have to give her an eight. Jeez, already objectifying women already, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite, quite, quite. Mmm, yes. I can't keep, seem to keep my eyes off her. Here's your drinks, my lords. Mm, here you go. Here you go. It's like there the world go. is pausing yep, for a brief moment. I studied at the wow. ballet academy. Now I do it contemporary. Dancing is like intoxicating. I <sighs> can't stop staring. Quite a lovely creature. <laughs> oh. It doesn't take quite one and one to make two, after all. Is there any way that we can introduce these two young kids together? Are you kidding me? Of course there is. I'll see what I can do. I just love bringing people together. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yes? There's this one guy who wants to introduce your dancer to that one uh, fine young gentleman. Uh, uh, you don't say. Well, I guess that's okay, whatever. You know, he could choose anyone else, but why would he want to choose her? Excuse me, Carson. Could you uh, stop this performance real quickly? I uh, hope no one gets mad about this. Excuse me there, ma'am. Can't you see I've worked really hard on this contemporary dance? <laughs> What's this all about? Now I'm going to have to start all over after this. I don't want to watch it from the beginning. Now this is what you're going to do. You're going to be really nice to our nice customers. I over say. There. Come, come. <laughs> yes, you. Come over here. Uh, I don't know about this. Are, uh, are you sure? <laughs> Nonsense! Don't worry about this! They're... <laughs> All right, boys, stand up. Now, be on your best behavior, young lady, and be nice and get lots and lots of money. Hi! Uh, hi... Now, don't embarrass yourself, and me! Oh, make sure she doesn't embarrass herself. Well, hello there, young lady. I, I, oh, uh, awkward. I knew I recognized you from all way over there from the stage. Uh -huh. I just knew it was you. I don't even know why I got this accent from anywhere. But, hey, how you doing? Um, I, uh, 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 uh um, that's my boy. Uh, 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 I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, please excuse me. Uh, uh. Uh, well, should I go after him? Indeed. Now hold on there, ma'am. What was that about? Please don't take that as an insult, my dear. Please, please, have a drink. The boy's spirits are quite low. Maybe you can bring him up quite a bit. Well, th the last thing I need to do is bring anything up. <sighs> to drinking with strangers. Yeah, all right, so let's talk about events. <laughs> Whew, that was rough. Anyways, uh, Wednesday, uh, let's kick things off this morning at the Open Hours at the Makerspace. Open Hours at the Makerspace is a way for people to create and build 3D printed things at the Missoula Public Library. Um, learn how to use equipment or how to uh, work on a project of their choice. Um, it happens from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's an open creative um, resource provided by the Missoula Public Library. Um, employment assistance program is happening at the Job Service Missoula Palmer Pathways. If you're seeking employment, having a tough time, this is the place for you. The Job Service program um, is doing an education, uh, pays and subsidized employment programs help you land a career job, and you, give them, you can give them a call at 329-1275 or stop by the office at 2677 Palmer Street, a suite 222 and they're open daily and they're open from 8 to 5 p.m. Um, preschool playgroup is happening at Roots Acro Sports Center. Uh, it's from walking to five years of age. It's $10 per child, $15 for siblings. Um, preschool playgroup is a play favorite for kids and parents alike. Um, there's playgrounds. Gym becomes your playground basically and they set up fun stations and activities throughout the gym. Parents and children choose activities that interest them the most. Um, 
including obstacle courses, pick games, trampoline time, swinging, sliding, climbing, and playing in on an inflatable. And this is a great uh, opportunity for kids to be active and staying indoors. It's uh, it's an indoor activity, and it's hard to be active when there's so much smoke in the air, and this is a great place just to be inside. Uh, Spectrum Discovery Center is doing Let's Build, and they're doing uh, programs for kids aged two to five years old, and they must be accompanied by an adult, and you can do hands-on science with your early child explorer in a new location at 812 Tool Avenue, and of course, they've been saying new new location for like six months, so it's probably not new now, but anyways, uh, do a playful science experience and craft while you learn together. It's 350 per person for anyone ages uh, one and older, including museum admission. Members receive a 10% discount. Discounted punch passes are available. So if it isn't your first rodeo, you guys can, um, it's like if you do X amount, you can get in free for one thing. It looks like, um, yeah, I mean, they, they changed the cost. It's like if you're uh, under three, you get in free. They don't have that anymore. Looks like That's like the newest thing. I think they just updated just recently. So anyone ages one and older has to pay 350. Hmm, interesting. Android tablets and smartphones on the Missoula Public Library. If you're using an Android-based tablet or smartphone and you don't know how to use it, Missoula Public Library is doing an education at 12.30 p.m. Um, and it's, it can be in the computer classroom and registration is required. So you must call them at 721-BOOK. And if you already have an, a smartphone, you shouldn't have a problem calling them unless you don't know how to use your smartphone to call them. And then it's kind of like counterintuitive. It's like, um, I, I wanted to make a reservation, but I, I don't know how to use my smartphone. And I can't call you. Okay, that's a terrible joke. But anyways, they do it at 12.30 p.m., and you can call 721-BOOK, otherwise known as 721-2665. Middle School Writers is happy to have the Missoula Public Library as well. If you are in grades 6 to 9, um, this is a great f way for kids to uh, improve their writing skills because one of the things that are happening and one of the trends that seem to be happening is that grammar and writing seems to be a uh, lost art amongst youth including myself um but it's a way for uh, them to improve N I mean, not be perfect but it's also a way for them to improve get feedback and you can do uh all sorts of things and um you know hang out with the sars um putting the public in public library music public library presents a september program a new way to library which focuses on library in in a, innovations, community collaborations, Missoula Public Library's mission and future, the first program in the series, A New Way to Serve, putting the public in public library, meets in the large meeting room, and features Honoré Bray, Missoula Public Library director, and Joel Baird, MCAT manager. So MCAT will be there um, from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. So it's going to be very interesting, and I think that um, one of the things that MCAT does, instead of um, bringing the community to them, I, uh, MCAT brings community to the community. So I think that's a great th a point that MCAT can definitely make, and it's a definitely a point that I make here through MCAT, is MCAT is a great resource that people don't have to come here to uh, be a part of MCAT, since we do a lot of uh, programs in the community, which include taping things as well. But not to toot our own horn here at MCAT, let's move on. Uh, Characters in Clay, Living Arts of Montana, multi-session. Living Arts of Montana is an uh, art-based um, um, art based uh, collaborative effort to help people who are dealing with uh, um, terminal illnesses and just helping them um, ease their pain using art and creative forms and creating characters' life. And this time they're using clay. Um, they do many different art forms. Participants are to learn to hand on building, glazing techniques, and gain insights into the firing process. Uh, and of course, please wear clothes you don't mind making a mess. Um, ACLU is doing a statewide tour of Missoula. Uh, starting at 6 p.m. at 10 Spoon Winery. Mark your calendars. A discussion with Kaylin Borgman, Executive Director of ACLU of Montana. Learn about civil liberties, issues, and how the ACLU of Montana is working to defend and preserve individual rights in Montana. And join the conference conversation uh, and learn how you can come become involved um, and and of course uh, many of you in Missoula even including myself um, may think that uh, you kind of preach in the choir because Missoula is really cool with a lot of people we're very liberal minded and we're very like cool with whatever but there's always room for improvement and this is a great way just to have a discussion and see how Missoula can grow in terms of working to defend and preserve individual rights in Montana um, 
Missoula Ducks Unlimited Sportsman Night Out, starting at 6 p.m. Linda Vista Golf Course Events Center. Whether you hunt, fish, or enjoy the outdoors, you will not want to miss the Sportsman Night Out party hosted by a local Ducks Unlimited Committee. The finest names in hunting and fishing e equipment, along with other outdoor gear, will be available. It's a raffle-only event with food, drinks, and uh, make with a um, party complete. Uh, there's no live auction, no sit-down meal, just a lot of fun with friends and they raise money for wetland conservation. Tickets are $30 for singles and $55 for couples, including meal, beer, and water. Um, event starts at 6 p.m. and it's going to be at the Linda Vista Golf Course. Um, w another event that's really cool is I like to talk about philosophy a lot of times, and even making up my own philosophy sometimes. Um, uh, Socrates Cafe is a great way to um, talk about philosophy and talk about uh, Socrates uh, at Mizzou Public Library. They meet in the uh, boardroom every first Wednesday of the month, um, 6 p.m., and they just basically talk about philosophy, um, whether or not might is right, whether or not what uh, what basically helps the world turn, what prevents the world from turning, and just all sorts of wonderful things. Um, it's just an intellectual discussion. And if you think you're smart enough, go ahead. Or if you don't think you're smart enough, you can get some insight as well. Um, Happy Cow is, is, is doing uh, painting with a twist, um, is doing Happy Cow. Um, you can come paint Happy Cow. I mean, that's basically what they're doing, and it's uh, painting with a twist. Uh, they always have, uh, it seems like they have daily events, and this one, they're doing Happy Cow. They also do an event tomorrow night as well. And here are some of the uh, nightly events that are happening, karaoke contest at Eagles Lodge, crap test at karaoke at the Badlander, and of course, rocking country karaoke at the Sunrise Saloon. And without further ado, here is an uh, art clip that you guys can enjoy from the Missoula Art Museum. And when I come back, I'll finish up with events and we'll finish up the show together. Let's come back and let's talk about some more events that are happening on Thursday. Tiny Tales, as always, happens in the Missoula Public Library um, most days. It happens every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 10.30 a.m. It's You bring your kids and you basically get to expose them to a learning environment where kids can learn nine new words a day, and it's from birth to three years of age. Um, meditation for Veterans is happening Thursday afternoon at 1 p.m. The Learning Center and Red Willow Meditation for Vets is a guided mindfulness practice exploring the method of uh, paying attention to, um, to breathe to increase calm and reduce stress. No previous experience necessary. And for those, and, and also um, a lot of these uh, services are, uh, there's a lot of services in the Learning um, Center for at Red Willow that help um, vets who are dealing with PTSD or people or just who are just, or just folks who are just stressed out overall. Uh, the Powerful Tools for Caregivers is happening at Missoula Agent Services. Missoula Agent Services has a, month, uh, a monthly uh, visit with us talking about a lot of their events. And many things they do is they do classes for uh, Powerful Tools for Caregivers from August 10th through September uh, 14th um, from 1 to 3 p.m. caring for loved ones um, with chronic illness. And you know, of course, don't forget to take care of yourself. Find out more about the six-week course and you can register at Powerful Tools for Caregivers, caregivers Powerful Tools for Caregivers dot eventbrite.com or you can call uh, Missoula Agency Services uh, Resource Center at 
541-HELP. Of course, as of, um, let me see, uh, never mind, that, that, forget it, that's just a little note, uh, that doesn't need to be talked about, like, here and there. But anyways, uh, just for more information, uh, 541-HELP, Missoula Agents and Services, how you can guys can sign up for this course, it's a great way to basically, um, um, basically get help to help others. Uh, President Lecture Series Seminar starts today, um, I mean, starts tomorrow night at I mean, tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m., uh, President Lecture Series Seminar featuring Sir Agnes Deaton, Dwight D. Eisenhower Professor of Economics and International Affairs um, at Woodrow Wilson School of Public and International Affairs and the Economic Department of Princeton University and 2015 Nobel Prize winner in economics is speaking on global poverty and why is it so hard to erase? The seminar is free and open to the public and they always have a nice little Q&A at the end so you can talk to the, um, a person who got a Nobel Prize to talk about economics from 2005. Um, there's a three steps to reclaiming your joy after losing a loved one. Um, University of Montana at 4 p.m. is doing certified transformation life coach and PD, um, um, PhD in counseling psychology will help us navigate finding joy after losing a loved one. This short, oh, excuse me, the workshop is free and open to the public, but space is limited. It's going to be at the University of Montana starting at 4 p.m. Um, also, uh, studies uh, from the figure, Burnswick Gallery at 5 p.m. It's an annual four-day art show uh, by works by, uh, by the Patty Canyon Ladies Salon. Members include Nancy Erickson, Stephanie F uh, Frosted, uh, Christy Hang Hager, uh, Becky Johnson, um, Beth Lowe, Leslie V, uh, S. Miller, um, Sherry Montana, Linda Tawney, and Janet Whal uh, Whaley work in a, ver a variety of mediums with female figure as the subject and it, it opens uh, tomorrow and it happens from 5 to 8 p.m. Friday 5 to 8 p.m. Uh, Saturday 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and it closes on Monday from 2 to 6 p.m. it's open figure drawing and, it, and yeah I mean if you're interested in that um, you should check out Burns Week Gallery uh, basically happening all weekend long, you can't miss it. Frenchtown Community Advisory Group Meeting, uh, Frenchtown Fire Hall. Members of the Frenchtown Community will meet to discuss cleanup of a former Smurfit Stone mill site. Public attendance and input are welcomed. Um, and of course, if you haven't already heard in a lot of the news, uh, the pre the pre the owners of the Smurfit Stone haven't been keeping up with cleaning up their site. So that's a nice way to get updated on what's happening with the Smurfit Stone site as well. Missoula Animal um, Communication Meetup uh, in September. Do you live in? Missoula, Montana area, so let's get together and talk animal communications. They start with the question, is animal communication fact or fiction? Um, and they delve into stories of about how, if, how, mm, geez, grammar's terrible. Um, delve into stories about how animals communicate has or has not uh, appeared in your life. And you can grab uh, all sorts of information about that. But tonight, I mean, uh, not tonight, sorry, tomorrow night is when they have the President Lecture Series um, kick off with uh, Sir Agnes Deaton, who's going to be talking about the Nobel Prize winner from economics. He's going to be talking about uh, mortality and m morbidity in the United States. And, of course, the seminar is different. And he talk about um, why uh, uh, poverty can't be erased. But also, tomorrow night, he'll also be talking about mortality and morbidity in the United States. Uh, the lecture is free and open to the public, and they usually do at the Montana Theater. Um, and usually the seminar is the Gallagher Business Building. Um, open Mic Comedy is happening at the Union Club tomorrow night. Um, yeah, it's hosted by John Howard. Um, they, they've they been doing a lot of comedy. He's in a comedy trope that comes through here. And a lot of comedians, um, basically, it's a, it's a great way to um, see whether or not you're actually funny or not. And honestly, it really just depends upon how you feel. I mean, you know, you can have a good day for comedy and you have a bad day for comedy. You know, some people just have it, some people don't. And uh, see if you have it at Open Mic Comedy. Um, and John Howard is really good about making sure that everyone is comfortable in the Union Hall. And Union Hall is a really great place. Everyone's chill, everyone's cool. You get different age, gra different demographics from college um, kids to the college professors that they date. <laughs> But anyways, that's comedy night, 9.30 p.m. at the Union Club. Here are some of the musical events that are happening that night as well. Um, live jazz at the Plonk, um, karaoke at Dark Horse, and, of course, more karaoke at the VFW Bar. So a lot of things happening Thursday night. Um, yeah, and you can check it out all by going to MissoulaEvents.net. If you are interested in being a part of MCAT, 
however you can find out more information by going on to mcat.org it is a resource for anybody who wants to um, learn and make videos uh, and who don't have the resources to do it we have the resources which is why we're Missoula's community media resource um, if you want to find out more information about me you can log on to my website wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula be sure to uh, subscribe like and f um, follow on my YouTube Facebook and Twitter it is all great I hope you have a great week um, I hope that that rain kind of washes away a lot of the smoke later on this week um, you can expect uh, a lot of these fires around here to uh, be fought very well by a lot of the hotshot crews that are helping out with that including the National Guard that is helping as well so I just want to thank everybody um, on those crews and everybody who is fighting the fire fight the fire efforts um, here in Montana because it's looking kind of crazy but we're lucky that we can keep uh, the wheels turning here in and around Missoula regardless of the fire so once again I want to extend a thank you to all those people who are fighting the fire and once again I want to thank you for joining me this morning on Wake Up Missoula and I'll see you on Friday. Mm -hmm.